What's up, folks? Welcome to another sort of one I'm playing today. Sonic 1 Beta Remix. Sonic 1 Beta Remix. Uh, I realize I always say the title twice for some reason, so I'm going to just start saying the title twice. This is a 2000... Boot. Oh, what are those? Are those the goggles? Oh, we got the goggles. We got the goggles. There's not even water in the zone, but we got the goggles just to show off. And it's the beta gameplay. Uh, I think it's like a 2010. Oh, what is he doing? Oh, that was just like a rogue sprite. The b oh, it's it's an enemy. It's an enemy. It's an enemy, and it hurt. It took my goggles. All right, it's cool. Um, also the ball is well. Okay, the green hill ball. There it is. All right, it just disappeared. Um, I don't know what you're supposed to do with this. We have spin dash, so that's nice. I don't know what that's there for, other than the fact that it was in the beta and the files of the game. Uh, but I think it's like a 2010 game. Uh, the the file itself is called unfinished. Uh, so if we run into any game-breaking bugs, uh, that is why. Uh, what's going on? It's currently December 20th, 2022. Happy uh, holidays, if you're so inclined to celebrate. Uh, I had a small, I guess, get-together with my family, and that was that's always nice and enjoyable. I got some stuff. I actually, 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 I can't say to LLY. I'm the proud owner of a new Steam Deck. Yo, why does this make the screen shake so crazy? Like, look at that junk, it's just, it's just, oh! It, d it does move. Does it kill everything in its path? Does it kill everything in its path? Oh, uh, there's nothing in its path to kill. All right, let's just take it to the goal. Uh, yeah, I'm the proud. Oh, he got the Shoryuken, he got the, oh, that's so cool. After he passes the goal, his jump becomes different. It becomes, I don't know if it's actually higher or if it's just the sprite looks like he's taller because he's, I think it's probably about the same height, but um, it looks like he's higher because the uh, sprite itself is like elongated because he's outstretched. Boom! That's that good. Boom! Shield. I love that jump. Um, yeah, I'm proud of this new Steam Deck. That's kind of exciting. Uh, despite playing all of these games on PC, I have never really been much of a PC gamer, which is kind of sad because there's always stuff that comes to PC that I'm like, oh man, I really should play X, Y, or Z. That is a life. That's what I thought. How do I get that? Um, oh, what the heck is this? What is this? I mean, I know this is a special stage, but why? How did I even get here? I saw that weird, like, shield appear on me, and uh, I thought it was like a boost or something. I'll take that. Oh, that's a life? I'll take those. We take those. Um, yeah, I've never really been a PC gamer. I do have a Steam account, and I, for whatever reason, I own Sonic Generations and Sonic CD. Um, Sonic CD? Or is it... What other Sonic? It was Sonic Generations. Yeah, I think it is Sonic CD. I'm, yeah, it's Sonic CD. Um, but sadly, those games are not optimized for Steam Deck. And okay, I definitely hit the wall. I definitely hit the wall, but whatever. Um, so I can't actually play them, at least not like as the base configuration of my Steam Deck. Um, like it just, it, Sonic CD showed me a black screen and Sonic Generations just doesn't load. Um, but that said, I did end up buying Sonic Lost World because that's Steam optimized, Steam Deck optimized. Um, Sonic Adventure 2 is playable, so I got that. That's a weird spring. It's kind of this is kind of like in the tree, but not in the tree. It's kind of weird. Um, and then I also got a couple other games. I got God of War because I wanted to see how like a AAA title would run. It was only like twenty nine bucks. So I was like, all right, I'll, I'll get that. And I'm actually enjoying it because I just finished God of War Ragnarok. Uh, this moment. Oh, what are we doing? That's crazy. My guy's just going. My guy's living his life. Okay, it doesn't impact enemies. It just rolls until it rolls. Okay. Um, and it looks like it does look kind of trash. I'm not gonna lie. Like God of War it looks pretty bad on a uh, Steam Deck, but it's certainly playable. Uh, the battery life is terrible for that game, but certainly playable. Um, and it's actually nice being able to. Okay, that guy was not there in the original game. <gasps> this is a different level layout. It's a mildly different level layout. There's no spring here. There's there's usually a spring that launches you upwards. You know, onwards and upwards. 
Also, I don't know why we have the spin dash if this is supposed to be like the beta game. Like, I would think they wouldn't have the spin dash because that, I don't think that was in the original game, unless it was. Uh... Um, so yeah, I got God of War. I've never played Hyperlight Drifter, but I figured since I played, uh, what's that other game? Um, oh god, the other... Oh, I got them all nice. There was that other game I played, it's on my channel, it's the one where you, like, play, like, it's 3D platformer, you skate through everything, it's the, you know what I'm talking about. It came out the start, like, the end of last year. Um, what the heck was that? I guess you just automatically go to a special stage if you get 100 rings, that's... Interesting, uh, but I don't want to do this, so I will cease doing it. Um, and then what's the other game? Katana Zero. I got that. That's they label as a side-scrolling action platformer. I look at it more as a puzzle game, uh, like a, a fast-paced puzzle game. Uh, maybe I'll play something for this channel at some point if I get a dock in particular, or I guess I can just play it. <gasps> My rings are gone. Three, four. All right, we're good. We're good. Ooh, I, I forget how close that comes. This is a remix. Or not a remix. This is a, an alternate theme. But I quite mess with it. Get those good rotations. And yo. Um. Yeah. So that game, it's more like a puzzle game. But you have to basically try to kill enemies like you're an assassin and you're taking out enemies and it's basically one hit and you're dead and you can slow down time and like dodge and stuff oh that all oh, this music is trash i feel like i've done this in a i feel like i've done this in a thing before all right hold on there was a counter what does this mean does this mean does this mean that i won't drown or does this mean that i will eventually drown I do like the background a little bit. Like, I like the little the stuff, the little crystalline shards leaping out the background. That's kind of cool. Yeah, I guess that means we can live forever in the water, uh, which is which makes perfect sense because that's what it should be. Um, there's no box here. That's annoying. Is this just not finished? This might also not be finished. As I mentioned, uh, at the side, this is might not be finished. But yeah, Katana Zero, it's like, it's difficult and it's a little frustrating uh and i guess it's somewhat satisfying when you complete a level but it's not it's not that great so uh, i'm it's not that it's not a good game i just it's not as satisfying as i would like it to be and my first playthrough is at times more frustrating than i'd like and it just feels like i'm just like making save states because the game you can basically restart the screen immediately after you die and it just feels like i'm always like Dying and then making a safe state. Dying, making a safe state, and like reverting back, basically. Um, it doesn't have that same sense of like progression that um, like Elden Ring has. And not that it's going to be like Elden Ring, but where it's like you die and you try something a little different. Sometimes it just seems like the enemies react to you slightly earlier than they did the last time you didn't catch them, or you didn't press the button at the right time, and you just end up dying. And you have to try all over, try all over again. So it's uh, it's fine. I'll try to finish it, but. Um, it is an interesting story presentation. I do like that uh, with the psychiatrist and all that. Oh, so clean, so clean! All oh, my movements clean. My movements sick. My movements sick. Um, so yeah, get like a good moonwalk. Um, yeah. So I got a Steam Deck. What else did I get? Hyperlight Hyper Drifter. I said that was the name of the name. That's the name of it. Name of it. Um, Hyperlight Drifter. Uh, oh, Mega Man X Collection, because I figured I would like that, and I I don't like Mega Man games to begin with, and I still don't like Mega Man games, but I'm going to try to play more of that, because I want to like Mega Man games, and realistically, they should be up my alley, because again, side-scrolling platformer, I like freaking Metroid, but Metroid's hard, and Metroid can be frustrating too. Um, oh, they didn't give me they didn't give me goggles, and my goggles don't translate, that's crazy. Um, I actually probably could get through this if I wasn't being stupid. 
because I would have gone up instead of down because the water levels. Okay, I'll try it again. Let me just see. I'm just curious to see if I can do it. Um. All right, now don't get in your head. Let's just go. I think Sonic can last 30 seconds underwater, so. We got like 20 more seconds. Oh. I screwed it. I can totally. I can totally do it if I. Yeah, I can totally do that. Maybe. Actually, no, I probably can't. Uh, it doesn't matter. You've seen Live and Stone before. Um. This is a game. This is an unfinished game. Well, that is Sonic 1 Beta Remix. Beta Remastered? I don't freaking know. It's, uh, the title's, the title's on the freaking YouTube thing. So just, just, just look at it there. Uh, that's gonna do it for this episode of what I'm playing. Next time we're gonna come back, hopefully play a finished game. Actually, no, the next game, I don't think is finishable either. But we'll see. We will give it the old college try. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.